book 48 and I am sad to say this will be my very last Simon Sinek book until somebody gives me rave reviews about another one. So Together is Better, a little book of inspiration, super cute, right? It is like this totally cute little book and it follows these friends, you know, that are bullied and through their journey of creating something, which is cute. Um, there's even a page that's like smell, like you rub it and you smell it and it smells like hope or freedom or something, this page, which is kind of random, gives it a cool smell. But just sec, what does it smell like? I have to figure this out for you guys now. Yeah, you like lift it up and smell. I don't know, smell of optimism. It's like a scent, the science done behind this. I don't know, it just smelled like a book to me. But there were some really cute quotes, some really cute phrases in this. So one is on like persevering. Life is difficult and dangerous. Anyone who would attempt to do it alone is simply mad. We know to always do difficult things with a buddy. So if the journey of life is to be filled with setbacks and disappointments, with confusion and uncertainty, it makes sense that we should trust others to join us on the journey. As individuals, we're useless. We can't lift heavy weight and we can't solve complex problems. But together, together, we're remarkable. That was super cute. So there's lots of that sort of stuff, lots of little one-liners. Um, something I found really weird is the back of the book. Like you read the whole book and you're like, yay, that was really cute. And then there's a little more. So it says that they realized that some of the quotes and illustrations had some nuance to them that was lost in this format. So then they added more about the ideas. So I'm going to be honest. My first thought was seriously, just rewrite your book. Like if it didn't make sense in the first part, why am I now reading a bunch of stuff at the end to make it make sense? Which I did find it didn't totally make sense in the beginning. Um, but there were a few cool things in the back. So one of them was most of us live our lives by accident. We live as it happens. Fulfillment comes when we live our lives on purpose. And that's something I was actually talking to a friend about yesterday. There's so many people just get up and live their life. They don't actually stop and plan for anything or reach for anything or stretch or grow. They just like, and often they're suffering in the state that they're in. But they're like the dog that won't move off the nail. They just sit there and whine about it. So that I was like a hardcore believer. Um, another one is a vision is like a dream. It will disappear unless we do something with it. Do something big or do something small, but stop wondering and go on an adventure. That I loved. That little like bit was enough to actually make me not hate the book. So not my favorite book I've read. But it was super cute, and it's a little bit of an inspiration. So, together is better. 